HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere and each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. What's up? What's up, everybody? Matthew Bivens here. And welcome to another episode of the Having It All podcast. I'm feeling fantastic today. And I truly hope that you are as well. I hope today has been a great day. That this week has been a solid week for you. And if it hasn't been, if things just haven't gone your way, then um, you know I'm hoping by the end of this episode you'll be able to shift some things around with either the circumstance or how you're feeling about the circumstance. That's my goal. If you are new to the show or if you haven't been listening in a while, then welcome. Thank you for hanging out. It, it truly means a lot that you come and hang out and press play and give this podcast a shot because... I know you have tons and tons of options, and there are some really fantastic shows out there. So just the fact that you would listen this far into this one, I just want to say thank you. So today, you know, we are, the show has been on break for a little while. It's January right now, and I uh, I took the beginning of 2018 off so that I could really focus on making some updates and creating some new kick-ass stuff for you all. You know, that's really what I want to do. So today's episode is going to be pulled from the archives. It's one of my favorite, favorite episodes. And it's about relationships, but not necessarily the relationships you might be thinking. Before we dive in and before I intro that, uh, I wanted to share some of the cool things that have been going on and some of the stuff that you will be seeing and experiencing shortly with the podcast. And the first of which is a website. So up until now... The only way to access show notes for this podcast was through the Fireside Network, which is the awesome podcast network that this show has been a part of since the very, very beginning. But now, very shortly, you're going to be able to go to a website that is specifically for the Having It All podcast, which I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm thrilled about. And um, there's going to be some very cool things on that site. I really want to make it a resource, a resource for any and everyone who is interested in experiencing more abundance and love in their life. I want to create a place for you where you can grab some cool resources and, uh, you know, just play around and, and do your thing. So I'm working on that site right now, and that's fun. And I'm also working on some new content. I have been uh, been busy. I've been recording and I've been doing some solo episodes as well as some interviews. You know, I, I, I really believe that, um, well, I'm, I'm moving more towards incorporating more interviews into the show because I started out with interviews, then I went to solo, and now I'm going to be sprinkling more in. And uh, I, I had a conversation that, you know, we recorded, uh, what was it, about a week or so ago, and it was fantastic. And it, it gets into some stuff. This one is definitely going to be rated explicit. And uh, I'm, I'm really hoping it's going to make a few people uncomfortable because we're talking about sex and we're talking about sexual energy. And so that's probably going to be the episode that kicks off the brand new season. So I am so excited for you all to hear it and for you to uh, share your feedback. So that's going to be fun. 
I've also been receiving so many freaking amazing listener emails. I mean, you all have been reaching out. You've been just, I don't know, you've been making my day. Honestly, every time I see an email from uh, from one of you, I, I get the biggest smile on my face, and it's um, uh, it, it's extraordinary. So I just want to say thank you, thank you so much. A uh, recent batch of of listeners who've emailed Tom, Kelsey, Chris, Charles, Stephen. Thank you, thank you so much for reaching out. And um, yeah, I I don't know. It's a it's a very cool thing. It's a very humbling thing. Um, just to 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 be the recipient. And um, for folks who just want to share some love or ask a question or make a request, you know, that's, it's awesome. So if you want to shoot an email to me, uh, you can do so at my Gmail email address, mattcbivens at gmail.com. And, um, you know, I answer all my emails and I respond to them. And sometimes it takes me, sometimes it takes me a little while, you know, a week or maybe a little bit more, Um, but just be patient and I'll, and I'll get back to you. And, and I love it. One of the listeners who emailed was sort of testing to see if I actually responded. So I love that sort of uh, accountability, you know, seeing if I do the things I say I'm going to do. So I love that. And uh, yeah, if you have anything you want to share, any feedback, if you have ideas, you know, I love receiving ideas for, uh, for future episodes. You know, it really helps. And honestly, it's, you know, the show is, is for you. I make it for you. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. I, I also, um, you know, I want to get into something that has been kind of an awkward thing for me and uh, I haven't really known how to approach it. Um, but in, in the new season of the show this year, I'm going to be bringing on some sponsors. So you're going to hear me plug different things, different brands, different products. And, you know, I wrestled with this for a long time. Uh, I really did. I, I felt awkward bringing on sponsors, paid sponsors to this show. And I said no to a lot of sponsors who um, have been have reached out to me um, over the years and months. And, you know, it, just, it, it took a lot of kind of soul searching for me and asking of other people of, of their feedback and talking to other podcasters and chatting with my wife. And, you know, I've arrived at this place where I believe it can be a huge win-win, you know, win-win-win. Right, a win for the show, a win for me, a win for you, a win for the brands, you know, who who would be sponsoring the podcast, and so um, I'm I'm excited about that. You know, I think well, you know, I'll level with you. Producing the show um, is not cheap; it's not free, and um, I, you know, being able to have some of those costs covered by sponsors who who really are aligned with the message of the show, you know, who are aligned with the values, health love, balance, you know, those types of things. That's what we talk about, abundance. So I am going to be bringing on sponsors who are in alignment with all of those things. And this leads me to my, my, uh, my next and final thing before I talk about today's episode. I really, really, really want to know, you know, what types of brands would you all like? You know, what would, what would you like to hear a sponsorship message from? So I'm asking, this is a request of me to you, I'm asking you all to fill out a really, really quick, short survey. And it's just going to help give me more insight into the things that you're interested in, into, you know, a little bit about you, you know, you who are listening, uh, so that I can go out there and bring on sponsors that have products and services that are meaningful to you. And it's not only going to help with the sponsorship, it's going to help me with future podcast ideas. You know, future shows, like I really want to know what it is that, that is going on with you all and, and what you, you know, the things that you want me to, to shine some light on or give some feedback on or give my insights on. I really want to know what those are. And, um, you know, as an example, a lot of the emails I receive might be about around relationships. And so it seems that, you know, I could talk a little bit more about relationships on the show and that might resonate with you all. But I don't want to guess. I truly want to know. So you could, you know, if you've got three minutes, it's really short. It's not going to take you a lot of time. Three minutes to spare. Then uh, you can fill out this quick survey for me. Just go to MatthewBivens.com slash survey, S-U-R-V-E-Y, and you'll be able to fill that out. And I will be very, very grateful and indebted to you. And you'll really be helping to improve the show. So that would be awesome. 
HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. It is Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18. Plus. Okay, let's get into today's episode. Now, uh, I went through and listened to some of my, my old favorites, and this one really stuck out to me. And it's the episode, Your Relationships Are Killing You. And I really like that title because, you know, you might be thinking right off the bat that I'm talking about romantic relationships. Um, but really what I'm talking about is how you relate to things, right? Your relationship to money, your relationship to stress, and how those things are impacting your overall health and your overall well-being. And I know, I know, I know, I know that if you are able to create joy in the face of circumstance, then you are going to be winning in life. I know that hands down. And so I talk about that in this episode and I give you a few concrete action items, things that you can actually do to help with uh, with those relationships. So I think I've talked for enough. <laughs> I normally don't have openers that are this long. And so uh, I, I, I really hope you get something out of this episode. And if you want to tell me about it, please reach out. Don't hesitate. And um, yeah, let's jump right in. I am making a bold claim in this episode of the Having It All podcast. And that is your relationships are killing you. Now, I'm not talking about romantic relationships, although they too can definitely be unhealthy from time to time. But what I'm really referring to is your relationship to the different things, the different people, different circumstances in your life. Because we absolutely have relationships with those things, how we relate to those things. And that's what I'm talking about in this podcast. So this episode was really inspired by um, a a story my friend was telling or an experience I had. I guess that's the best way to put it. Basically, um, a friend of mine, she was sharing in a weekly accountability group that I go to. um, She was sharing how she was really debating as to whether or not to take on a raw vegan lifestyle. So for those who, who, you know, those concepts are new, raw vegan means that you're eating zero animal product, absolutely no animal product, that's the vegan part, and that you're only eating raw foods, that's the raw part. So that means there's no cooking, you know, no cooking in the traditional sense. So no, you know, steamed rice, no cooking oatmeal over the stove, um, no, you know, pan frying some potatoes, all that stuff is out. That's just a couple of examples. So she, all, my, my friend already lives this, I'm going to start over. <clears throat> I am making a bold claim in this episode of Having It All, and that is that your relationships are killing you. Now, I'm not talking about romantic relationships, although we all know that there are definitely unhealthy 
romantic relationships out there. But really what I'm referring to in this podcast when I use the word relationships, it is how you are relating to the different things in your life, the different people, the the circumstances that come up, actual things, events. Relationships in the context of this show means how you are relating to those things. So this episode was inspired by um, something my friend was talking about about a week or so ago in my weekly accountability group. So we're, we're at this group, we're having our meeting, and um, we were actually giving another group member some feedback on something that she was stuck in. You know, she was just stuck in life. And uh, my friend was, was relating an experience that she had as part of her feedback. And basically what she was sharing was that she is on the fence currently um, about whether or not she wants to take on a raw vegan lifestyle. So my friend is a yoga instructor. She's been practicing yoga for many, many, many years and, and teaching yoga for a while now. She's been um, eating you know, healthy foods, pr- very clean, uh, clean lifestyle, clean eating. And she's been debating about whether to take it up to the next level. And for her, that next level is really a raw vegan lifestyle. So real quick, just to explain what that means. The raw part means that you don't eat any cooked foods. So everything that you prepare is, is raw. So you're eating a lot of salads, you're eating a lot of fruits, you're eating a lot of raw nuts and, and things like that. And I'm sure there's dozens and dozens and dozens of other foods that you're eating, um, but the, basically it's raw. And the vegan part of that means that it, there's no animal product. So you know, no meat, obviously, no dairy, no, no fish, no cheeses, nothing like that, um, no eggs. So my friend, like I said, she's, she's very healthy. And right now she's wanting to, she's kind of flirting with the idea of going raw vegan. So currently her lifestyle, she consumes no dairy, no processed sugar, no gluten. You know, like I've been saying, she's has a very healthy um, very healthy eating habits. Um, and like I said, she's a yoga instructor, so she's very active, very physically fit, very in tune with her body. However, despite all of that, despite all of the healthy habits that she has going in her favor, the fact that she is really waffling on her decision to go raw vegan, and the reason she, she can't make up her mind is because of fear. You know, she's fearing giving up attachments to the food that she enjoys, you know, that she wouldn't be able to eat if she went raw vegan. That fear and that attachment and and her inability to make a decision for a period of time, it's been a while now that she's been thinking about going raw vegan, that she hasn't done it. That right there has been impacting her health. And when she shared that with me, I was like, wow, you know what? That's pretty incredible. Because if you think about that for a second, this is someone who has the fitness piece down. You know, again, she's a yoga instructor. She's at her play weight. She teaches yoga. She practices yoga. Um, I know her personally, so I know that she's running a lot. You know, she runs 10 plus miles a week. She does circuit training, fitness classes a couple times a week. She's got the fitness piece down. She also has the, the healthy eating piece down. Like I said, no milk, no sugar, no gluten. She does water fasts, yada, yada, yada. But because of her indecision and where she is right now about the, the raw vegan, it's taking away from her health. Like that, that fact blows my mind. And the reason why it's doing that is because of her relationship to it. Her relationship to it. So when I say that your relationships are killing you, that's what I mean. You know, it's the way that you're relating to things in your life, whether it's people, uh, a decision you're faced with, a circumstance you've been hit with, actual relationships with other folks that you want to either start or end, whatever it is, how you relate to it many times has more consequence, carries more weight for your health than the actual thing itself. And when my friend shared that in our accountability group, it clicked. And I was like, wow, that's very true. 
You know, I've we, we've all heard of stories of people who are incredibly fit, incredibly, quote unquote, healthy, who then suffer from heart attacks or who then drop dead or who then have these different diseases going on in their body. When you're thinking to yourself, how is this person? I mean, they, they've got it all going on health wise. They, they eat well, they exercise, yet their body is failing them in these places. And what I'm saying is that it's not the exercise, it's not the food, it's not the lifestyle, it's the relationship to it all. That right there trumps all of that other stuff. So I know you've heard the expression in your life that you can stress yourself to death, right? Like we're all in America, you know, or wherever you are, this idea of stress is it's there. It's real. It's something that's talked about. It's in the media. It's, it's in our conversations. And it's funny that I said in America because I actually wanted to bring up in Japan, there's actually a word for working yourself to death. And the word is kuroshi. And I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. But kuroshi really means it's, it's occupational sudden death. You know, and, and in my research and looking up kuroshi, it's mainly from heart attacks and strokes that are a result of stress. So it's actually a phrase in in Japan for stressing yourself to death. And stress is simply how you're relating to something, whether it be work, your job, your career, or a spouse, or a vacation you're about to go on, or in my case, a new baby, a new baby on the way, or whatever it is. It's, it's stress and it's that relationship to it. And, you know, I didn't want to title this episode, Stress is Killing You, because you've heard that before. You know, we use the word stress so easily these days. Like, I'm so stressed out, or I'm feeling so stressed, or, man, this thing is just stressing me. Like, that word is just overplayed. It's tired by this point. And I, I believe that many people view stress as an external thing. You know, it's something that hits you and you experience and then it just sort of passes on its own. But you know what? I think that is a complete cop-out. I really do. Because stress is an experience. And I'll, I'll give an example. My wife and I are preparing a trip where it's Wednesday I'm recording right now and tomorrow we're hopping on a plane and we are shooting over to California. Uh, we live in Atlanta. And so we're flying over to California for six days for a baby moon, which is really just an excuse for us to go on a vacation before baby Maya comes. Now, both of us are very excited about this trip. You know, we, we are uh, prepared emotionally. We've got um, our work and all the things that you know, we normally do is all in check and people are covering Sarah's clients and we've got our social media things, you know, scheduled out through the week. But let's just say for, for this example that I was really stressed out about this trip. Let's just say that I was feeling stressed about the vacation, that the vacation was stressing me out. But Sarah was happy about it. You know, she's feeling excited. Her, her nerves are steady. She's really looking forward to the, to the journey to the airport and getting on the plane and, you know, finding the rental car place and all that stuff. She's really excited about all of that. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. So if that was the case where I'm saying this thing is stressing me out, 
Sarah is saying that this thing is exciting and she can't wait. How could I say that it was the vacation itself that was stressing me out when Sarah's not experiencing that? You can't. You can't you can't claim that it's the vacation because it's not. It's not the vacation that's causing me stress. It's my relationship to it that's causing me stress. You know, it's it's internal. It's not external. The vacation is simply the circumstance. It's simply what life is serving me up. But I'm choosing to relate to it in a way that's causing me stress and therefore pulling my health down. So really, what's the whole point of this episode? You know, I'm not here to say that you're choosing to hurt yourself and you're choosing to, 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 to really hurt and impact your health or that you are to blame for the things in your life. That's not very productive and that doesn't help empower you, doesn't help you heal, doesn't help you grow. What I am here to do is to tell you that you have the ability to choose. You absolutely have the ability to choose how you want to relate to different things, which is giving you back your personal power. You know, we give away our power when we allow things outside of us, external to us, to impact and really shape our health you know whether it be emotional help like when we're talking about stress it could also be physical health spiritual health mental social when we say things like that thing out there is hurting me that vacation is stressing me out we are completely completely forfeiting our personal responsibility and we're completely giving up our power in that situation. And if you've listened to to this show for for a while, if you listen to the other episodes, my interviews, then you'll know that this show is all about you creating and experiencing the life that you truly want. And that only happens when you take ownership over everything in your life. The things that you want to experience and the things that you don't. The things that you've planned and the things that are just out of the blue, totally unplanned, you didn't see it coming. You know, the things that are going your way that you're happy about and the things that are not going your way that you wish would stop. Once you take ownership for all of it, you know, once you understand that on a certain level you created or or co-created all of it and that you have the ability to choose what you want to experience and how you want to experience it, once you do that, you truly can, can have it all in your life. And now I will go back and clarify because one thing you might be saying to yourself is, you know, I don't have control over everything that happens to me in life, which is true. You know, let's say for a crazy example that an asteroid came and hit my house right now. You know, I wouldn't claim that I I could have controlled that 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 was within my control to influence that asteroid hitting my house. Now, I'm using an absurd example because I wanted to make an extreme point. However, what I am saying is that you can always control how you relate to it. And that brings everything back to relationships. So I want to be able to leave you guys with something concrete to sink your teeth into. And I'm going to give you some of the things that I do when I find myself wanting to blame something externally for how I'm, I'm feeling and what's happening to me, wanting to say this thing is stressing me out or I'm very stressed out and wanting to give away my power. When that happens to me, I do a couple of things. First, I acknowledge. And you know these things just sort of happen automatically, but there are times when I have to like catch myself. Be like, damn, I've been, I've been stressing about this. I need to get myself in check. And when that's the case, the first thing I do is I'm like, you know what? It's okay to feel stress. You know, like I don't have to be on 100% of the time and just be this, this cool rock solid person. Like I'm a human, right? And I can experience emotions and it's okay to experience. That's the first thing. The second thing I do is I freaking own it. I own it. I own the fact that, you know what? I'm choosing to relate to this circumstance in a way that's causing me stress. I'm, I'm choosing to feel this way about whatever it is that I'm fixating on. 
and I own that that darn thing. Because if I don't own it, that means I'm giving my power away. That means I'm putting how I feel and how I experience it in the in whatever it is hands. Right? So if we go back to the example of the vacation, if I put my well-being and my mental stability, my emotional stability in the hands of the vacation, well think about all the things that can happen on the way to and during a vacation that that could potentially throw you off. You know, the the car is late showing up to get you to the airport or the the plane is delayed and you might miss your connection or whatever it is, right? So the first thing is I tell myself it's okay to feel that way. The second thing is I own it. I totally own it. I take ownership of it. And the third thing I do is I shift how I think about it, right? I start to view it as an opportunity. I start to say, okay, you know what? I can, I can feel different about this circumstance. And if in that moment, it's just impossible, right? If I'm so deep in it that I just can't, I can't see how I could relate to it in a more powerful, healthy way, then you know what I do? I freaking fake it. I just fake it. I pretend, right? I just tell myself, you know what? It's all cool. I'll, everything's going to be all right. I'm okay. I'm healthy. And I fake it until my body follows, right? I, I tell myself with my thoughts and my words that everything's okay, that I'm in control of all this thing. And what I found that eventually my body just whoosh, follows. For me, when I'm stressed, my heart is beating hard and fast. I'm sweating. Like I get sweat under my arms. I sweat like crazy. My hands start sweating. My mind is really just focused on all the things that are going wrong or all the things that are about to happen and that I'm about to experience that I don't want to. And sometimes my stomach gets upset. You know, sometimes I'm like, man, I got to go to the bathroom 10 times. That's just what happens when I feel stressed out. But once I recognize that, hey, it's okay, it's all right to feel stressed. Once I recognize that, you know what? I'm creating this. I'm choosing this. And once I recognize that I can choose something else and I start to fake it, then everything just sort of shifts. And I can literally feel that switch, that switch of feeling helpless, the uh, uh, feeling like I'm just going along for the ride and feeling that I'm waiting for this inevitability the switch is going from that space to a space of, oh, I feel better. I feel empowered. I feel like I can actually shift something. So your relationships are killing you, but they don't have to. They absolutely don't have to because you get to choose how you relate to things in your life. You get to choose how you relate to people that you don't get along with. That people that you butt heads with, maybe it's an in-law, maybe it's a sibling, maybe it's a coworker. You get to choose how that person impacts you, how you let that person impact you. You get to choose how you relate to circumstances, right? If you're listening to this in your car right now and you blow a tire, that's a circumstance. You can either get extremely pissed about it or you can say something else, something like, all right, <laughs> tire's busted. I guess I'm going to be hanging out here for a little while. You absolutely get to choose. And if, if this, if my tips for getting through circumstances and for shifting your relationship sound bogus and sound stupid, I think it's just demonstrating the gap between your belief system, your belief that you have the power and the control and the belief that you're just at the whim of whatever happens to you. And I've been there. I've totally been there. You know, I didn't want to take personal responsibility for a lot of different things that I've experienced in life. And hey, you know what? Again, if that pushes your buttons, then there's a reason why it's pushing your buttons, right? This idea of taking personal responsibility for how you experience life versus just going through life and having things happen to you. So meditate on it. Think about it. Let it marinate. How are, you, how are your relationships to life impacting your health? Are they bringing your health up 
are they bringing your health down? Those are really the only two directions. And if they're bringing your health down, then what do you want to do about it? What, el- what, what would you like to be experiencing? That's the point of this episode. So I appreciate you hanging out with me, listening to this episode. Um, I have been intentional over the past couple of weeks of recording shorter episodes. Um, the feedback I was receiving was, hey, you know what? I don't want to listen to a 45-minute interview and a 45-minute solo show. So this one's rounding out about 20-some-odd minutes, and I'm going to keep them, keep keeping them short. Um, if you've enjoyed this podcast, if you like this episode, uh, and you want to give back, I would truly, truly appreciate a review. You can review the show on iTunes and subscribe. And if you are an Android user like myself, you can do the same on Stitcher or in Google Play Music. The Having It All podcast is available on all three of those, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play Music. Also, if you want to get the transcript and the notes from this show, then visit firesidenetwork.com. That is the home of this podcast. Again, that's firesidenetwork.com. You can find the title of this episode, Your Relationships Are Killing You. And in there, you can find the the notes and links to a couple of articles. Um, An article on Kiroshi is in there. You can check that out. And you can also find the links to all of my shows um, on the Fireside Network. And um, anything else, contact info, all that great stuff is there. And so with that... I just want to say thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. My name is Matthew Bivens, and here is to you having it all. Two quick things before you leave. First, did you know that the Having It All podcast is a part of the Fireside Network? Yep, we are one of the esteemed shows that calls Fireside Network home. That means if you ever want to listen to a show outside of iTunes or Stitcher or whatever your favorite podcasting app is, All you need to do is visit firesidenetwork.com and under shows, select having it all. From there, you can access all the episodes, see the show notes, learn about my guests and more. Second, I am very excited to announce that my brand new website is live. Visit matthewbivens.com and you can learn more about me, get plugged into an accountability group and pick up some free content like the Abundance Benchmark. I am all about helping you not only identify what your ideal life looks like, but also helping you on your journey towards it. I want you to experience more abundance and love in your life. So again, you can find out more information about all of that great stuff at MatthewBivens.com. Thank you once more for listening to the show. And here is to you having it all. Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.